Hey guys, what are you doing guys tutorial today? And um it's been like an ocean, like ocean blues color and um so I'm just gonna call this to the beach. But you can also wear this not just to the beach, you can wear it to like a pool party. Um because this does have more makeup like mascara and stuff than you would to like a beach because you don't wanna wear like mascara to a beach or anything. So it's been great for a pool party. And I think it's perfect for that and it's just really kind of different and like, unique and bright colors. So this is gonna look like just like a nice blue frosty color. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna check my, I'm gonna check my focus real quick because I'm gonna have trouble focusing my camera. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is, as you know, just doing makeup here. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna get started by just using your eye primer. And this is the NYC primer and the little contact eyes. Just see, put it to this one because it's a lot better. It's like just getting a primer instead of one big thing. Just use whatever you have. I'm just using the NYC primer. Works pretty good for me. And bring it up to your brow bone. Okay, so I'm really excited because this is like my second video, I think. Not my second, but this is like, I have two videos up already today from like my actual camera. And I'm really excited, and I'm really excited because it's been uploading pretty well um, to YouTube. It's been having trouble here lately, so I'm really glad it's working. And so I'm going to get started without getting any um, distracted. And there's a dog with that dog out there bothering me. It's really kind of fat and big, so it's like bothering me. So I'm just sticking my Avon palette, and this is from Collection 11. And I'm going to be using the color Aquamarine. And it's just a really pretty blue color. It has like a, some gold reflects in there, if you guys can tell. But it has some gold in there. I'm taking my e.l.f. brush, the professional. It's color because my mom has this thing, like brush, and I don't want it to get mixed up. So I just kind of colored mine. And I'm just going to get it on the brush here, just kind of pack it on there and it's me using tapping motion so it, so it creates less fallout this is a very nice bold color I really like it And when try your best to stay on your lip. If you don't, that's fine, because we'll be blending out anyway, so it's alright if it gets in the crease. Okay, now I'm going to be taking my crease brush. And this is from Revlon. And it's it's like a mini size one, but my hands are like kind of small, so it fits my hands perfectly, so that's what I like about it. I'm just going to take it right here and just work that in there. I'm going to take my Profusions 25 Beauty Palette. It has 25 colors in there, hence the name 25 Beauty Palette. And I'm going to take this blue one right here. I'm going to take just one top of that and just go right in the crease. It's going to be a nice frosty color. So I go back over my the blue one more time in case it kind of like fell out or anything without blending. This is a really pretty like sea green color, so it's gonna be really cool for the pool or beach. You can wear it to the beach if you want to, but just kind of whatever. And there's a guy across the street, and he looked over here. So Hope it doesn't seem to talk to myself because like I have my lights on my out or in the room. And yeah, so that's what that looks like. Now it comes to the really like fun part. I think it's pretty fun. So you know how like you see an ocean like, you know, kind of come onto the shore, I guess where the sand is. Um, you guys see like the white foamy foamy stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that by using just a really crystally white color. And this is the big Eyeshadows, eyeshadows from LA Colors, and this is in Praline. This is 
this has the most beautiful white here, so I'm just going to get this brush wet, and we're going to create those, um, we're going to create that, um, foamy look. So just pack your brush as much as you can get it. It would be a lot better if you had like a loose one, but I just, this is like one, one I have that's not like anything different, so anything loose or anything. So I'm just going to use the white one. And you're basically going to just line this like you would, like you're putting on some eyeliner, but you're using white instead. So we're just going to take it. It also gives a really pretty glow to your blue eyeshadow. Give your foamy on your eyes now. I'm going to do that one because I kind of forgot to do it. take that same white color I used in the same crease brush and just highlight the brow bone at the inner corner. My teeth really hurt. I don't know why, but they like really hurt on the bottom. I don't really know why. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm using my NYC eyelash curler and this one's great. I got this last night. You guys watched my haul video. And it curls really good. I like it a lot. So I'm just going to be using my uh, just the end of my heads over here. I don't know why I'm going to ask nervous on the floor, but it was, you know, stuff happens. Um, so I, I'm using the vol vol Voluminous um, Moyen Lashes Mascara, and this is in 645 Black. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this. The brush looks like that. I already have some of this mascara on, but I want to do anyway, just kind of like a little light layer so it looks like I'm going to want mascara because I already have some of this on, but I just want to go and put it on anyway so you guys know that when I do, what kind of mascara I used. Okay, so I'm going to be applying any eyeliner. I already tight lined a little bit earlier, so I'm not going to be doing it again. So now for blush, I'm just kind of even out everything. So there's the eye look. You guys like that. So I'm going to be doing the blush now. And this, I like to use like peachy kind of coral blushes. Let me take my Maybelline Expert Wear blush in Pinto Pink. I'm just taking a regular blush brush to apply this with. It's kind of like a tapered one, like in a way. Apply this and just do the bubbles of your cheeks and back. Alright, now for highlighting, I like to do, I like to use that white eyeshadow again because it works really well. It's right there. Take there my blush brush and just a little bit of highlighting. So if you want to have the look of a slimmer nose, it looks a little bit more flatter and a little bit more kind of like a bit more wider and stuff. Take just the white eyeshadow or just a primer or a highlighter. Take a highlighter and run it straight down your nose. It's going to give you the look of a slimmer nose and a more flatter as well. So that's a tip you guys can use when you use highlighters on your nose. Okay, it was a really nice glowy look, which I like. This like crystalline ones, which I like a lot. And you can contour if you want to. If you want to make your nose a little bit more slimmer, like cut off for a little bit, use a bronzer go right on the nose. I do use a highlighter on my nose because like my, my nose is kind of like different. I don't know why, but it's like, I just don't like my nose. I like to make it a little bit more flat than it actually is. So that's that. And then finally for lips, um, 
just gonna apply a light chapstick here. And a soft lip lip conditioner that has a CF15 looks like this, like a berry one. So if you're going to a pool or you're going to a beach, you want to have a little bit of protection on your lips, just go ahead and apply this. I also use a little bit of pink gloss if you want to. This is a profusion lip gloss. It's a really nice Barbie pink color. It's really like kind of sparkly, I think. And it's really pretty. So in the middle of that. So there is your eyes, your highlight color, your cheek color, and your lip color. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.